Hello everyone, welcome back to Crack Coding Interview. Today we will see um, question and C. Uh, it's bubble sort algorithm. Basically, we are going to sort this array. Uh, this is a array which has elements uh, which is facing downward 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We are going to sort this um, array using bubble sort algorithm. Um, <coughs> let's jump into the program int array okay so now um, let me declare a temp variable and uh, let us declare the size of the array Oops. size of array I'm going to divide that with integer so that I'll get exact array size so now we are going to iterate through one by one elements in that array I'm going to iterate till the size of the array right and then so here um, I'm going to compare with the second element right so I have to <coughs> have a second array I mean second loop So here there's something we need to concentrate what I'm going to do <coughs> I'm going to run the second loop till the elements sorted out which means that size minus i minus 1 I'll explain this later in a moment uh, how this will be useful in bubble sort algorithm um, let us keep going with the program that's a main important uh, one of the main important thing in this uh, bubble sort algorithm um, if array of j okay we are taking the first element right is greater than array of j plus 1 if it is greater than the second element what we need to do <coughs> store the array of if it is greater store the first element in a temp and move the second element which is smaller to the first element right and then move back the temp to the second element which is a bigger element so so when the control comes here and execute this for the first time what will happen let's see that okay so it will be 98765 and 9 the first element is greater than 8 so it will be like the 8 will come forward and 9 will come here okay so likewise it will go through all the loop in this for loop in the second for loop and then this 9 will be compared with 7 it will move moved <coughs> right so it will be like in the second uh, term it will be like this and then nine will be compared with six and then it will be moved here and then nine will be compared with five and then it'll be moved right okay so now it has come back to this guy why this will be more effective okay so in bubbles algorithm so we already sorted this out 
So out of all these elements, we figured it out that this is the greatest element, and this went to um, went to the last element. So this is not rec this is this is already done, right? And so we don't need to exercise this input again. So when the control comes back, when the first loop is done, j till size. Um, whatever the size is 5 and when the control comes back to this loop and when i equal to 1 okay so i equal to 0 here okay now what will be the size size is I mean size is 5 5 minus i is 0 and 4 so the This will be the first first input, right? First array input. So it will go through all the elements for the first time. Okay. So now, in doing the second time, i is one. So here we will get three. So size is five, five minus one, and minus one. So which is three. So we already have sorted array like this at the end of the first loop, right? This is done. This whole loop is done. Now we don't need to exercise this value again. So we are going to exercise 0, 1, 2, 3. That's why. So likewise, it, as it grows higher, the i gets incremented. This will be down. We are going to exercise only till second position 0 1 2 so likewise our performance will increase okay so likewise uh, we will get only two next time and it will be one so finally we will get our sorted array output so why do we call this as bubble sort right so see we are bringing this five up in every iteration it is coming as a bubble in the water it's coming up so we called as bubble sort algorithm okay so we are done with the program and uh, this is a crucial part and uh, you understood what it is now let's see we are getting the output Okay, so we have nine eight seven six five. Yeah, let's see what's up. Let me take this out. Five six seven eight nine. Okay, we got the output. That's great. Okay, so next video we will see um, binary search algorithm and other algorithm techniques as well. Um, if you have better solution than this for this problem, paste it in the comment section. Um, please subs subscribe my video, um, my channel for future videos. Catch you in the next video. Bye.